Australians are set for our first match. Here's your commentator, Andrew Boss, with the team lineups. Under safe and say tall for the American boys. That is the Australian squad, strong from top to bottom. And the Americans, they're the ones with the task ahead of them. The number two, P. Hill, his first name is Prince. So we'll see how he goes. Prince Hill, as the Americans look to do their best against the green and gold. Well, it's trying conditions for this match. A driving wind into the faces of the Australian players. It's the Americans running left to right. The white, blue and red colours. The first touch of the ball for them is with their seven, Aaron Tucker. One thing about the Americans, they certainly do have a go. I mean, if they come up with a try here in this match, they'll be absolutely delighted. No one expects them to come close to the Australians, but they will have a go. And this is Terence Wallace, who's tackled 10 metres short of the line. Of halfway, that is. The halfway line is now across field. Tucker. Over the top they go, running back for the ball is Mullins. It's a fair bounce with the aid of that breeze all the way back to the goal line. The first man there is the Prince. He got away from Prince Hill and Mullins bringing it back under the new rule. That doesn't count as a first tackle. The tackle count starts now. And the fullback or the winger who goes back for a kick over the top comes up with possession. It's zero tackle. Advancing the ball was Walters. The Australians stringing the passes together early. Eddinghausen over halfway. It was just about in the top gear. One of the biggest problems for Australia in this particular match will be trying to do too much with the football. Wendell Saylor now straight up the middle. Still able to offload. That's David Ferner playing basketball to Paul Green. The big right foot step sees him go straight through. But a good tackle from behind from Dave DeSorbo. Four tackles still left. Jason Croker threw it on the right side. They should score in the corner. Kevin Walters isn't. It goes for the line to score the try. Kevin Walters at the end of a string of passes. Scores the first Australian try of the match and a smile too from Kevy. The Australians lead by four points to nil. That's one of the late inclusions into the Australian team was Kevin Walters. David Ferner veering back in. That committed Prince Hill to the tackle. And then Kevin Walters able to get out of the grasp of Dave DeSorbo. Nice little offload. And a good movement, 90 metres in three tackles for the first Australian try. The conversion attempt is a pretty good one across the face of goal. Australia lead the USA Patriots four points to nil. Nine minutes each way played in these matches. He starts with the defending team from halfway. Doesn't have to travel the 10 metres, so a little tap of the foot, and they're able to run the football. And that was David Powell, who had a good 15 metre gain for the first hit up. Obviously, in these conditions, this ground will be solid now, hard to pick up some of the numbers as well. I'll need plenty of sets of jerseys over the weekend if this is how it's going to continue over the days ahead. The Americans now posted just outside the 20 metre line, now inside the 20, and tackled was Wallace. to the 10 metre line they go. That time it was with Gruller. Freddie Gruller tackle. They pull the 16 out of somewhere, the Americans. We'll call it Trent Wallace. He's with the ball now. I hope he's not the one who scores. Back for Gruller. Five metres short of the line. Just raked the ball back. Referee Dennis Hale says a knock on there against the Americans. Well, that's a shame for the Patriots. It was signal six again. Paul Green actually knocked the ball down. I think you find that the Australian hand was in that one as well. So double whammy going against the American team there. Paul Green feeding the scrum 10 metres out from his own line. That's Kevin Wallace in turn to Eddinghouse and he's got great speed of course. And then the ball was taken off him from Dave DeSorbo so Eddinghouse wouldn't be too happy with that before a tackle was completed. Well he's what he has done. Eddinghouse has eventually forced the error. Have a look at this. Well, I don't know, he was trying to offload. He may have released the football when it suddenly went into the hands of Dave DeSorbo, in turn DeSorbo came up with a knock-on. Amazing with Andrew Eddinghausen, isn't it? We're looking at the ground here, which is caught plenty of water as the Australians win the scrum, but he looked just as quick on the wet as he, as he is in the dry. He's a great athlete now as the Australians go down the left side and Robbie Beckett is away. Another one of the players, our first chance to see him in top flight, and away he goes from Prince Hill. Right for Prince Hill, got the ankle tap. But Robbie Beckett's as quick as they come. And that's a 70-minute trial of the win. Two of the quickest men on the floor combining there. Mullins taking the long Paul Green cutout pass. A winger from America in two lines here got caught in no man's land. And Robbie Beckett, he is a flyer. Tremendous work here from Prince Hill. 
valiant dive at the end was able to come up with the eagle tap. Robbie Beckett still close enough to the trial line to be able to get the ball down. It was his second try. Well, that works, a run like that one. Have a breather. It's Robbie Beckett. Now they're going to swap the kicker. Well, Laurie Daly can't keep the football because he wasn't on the field when the try was taken, obviously. Can be all as it is. Just trotting up to take this kick all the time. The clock counts down and Kevin Ball is into the breeze. Normally you'd say that wasn't such a flash attack. I reckon that was as good as we've seen the competition in these conditions. Australia on top against the American Patriots. Eight points to nil. Back underway. You can see a boggy surface in the centre of the field in the National Stadium in Suva. And again, the Americans making good ground. It's only a simple play, but 15 metres off a restart is good. Fred Brewer now in the headgear. Manhandled in the tackle. Steve Renoff. Sort of off the horns of Brewer. And they come across field this time. Everton, is it? It was bow tackle just outside the 20. Dummy half was Tucker. Swung it to the blind side. Then the rubber kick. Renoff knocked it down on the hand. Lazarus was offside. And Renoff makes the knock on. And the ruling is a knock on against Steve Renoff. From referee Dennis Haley was facing the opposite direction, but most of it was a knock on against the, the Aussie player. So American feet close to the line. And it will be Aaron Tucker for you to scrum, and he looks to be the most adept player in the USA Patriot side at rugby league. Directing play and diminutive. Here they go on the attack. Wallace. Front of the ground there. Eight metres out from the line. Well, it would be a shock scoreline if the Americans could find themselves onto the scoreboard. That time tackle was Badabar. Just a few minutes out, Wallace has a go himself, trying to force his way over the line. It took some effort to get him back in the field of play. Gillies and also Kevin Wallace almost played the ball forward, which isn't allowed under the rules of the Super League competition. Renoff. That's a try. The dead ball line. Did he? The referee's going to award the try. He has. Yes, Kevin getting the try for the USA Patriots and they will be ecstatic with that. Again, it was Tucker kicking the ball to the right wing. Must have been very close to the dead ball line. See Tucker catches, looks across, puts the bomb up. Two defenders coming short and ran off. He couldn't take it. And the ball just in the field of play ruled by the touch judge. And that was oh so close. Well, it might not matter, but... Uh... We've seen a good conversion attempt as the players run back to get on side. So it's eight points to six Australia leading the United States of America, the American Patriots. But uh, Kevin Giddings, a bit of a, a bit of a hero now. He's able to go back home. He scored a try against the world champions. It's Australia on the attack. Just outside the 40 now. First touch here for Jason Hetherington. Always a very busy player, but the ball in his hands are in defence. He's relishing playing with the big names in this Australian team. Doesn't play a lot of representative football as Paul Green. Takes the ball across to Wendell Saylor, but Hetherington in everything. Very strong defender. Wendell Saylor. Uh, what do you say? Well, he's a crowd favourite you're watching right now. They really do like what they're seeing with Wendell Saylor. And that was just class on his feet, wasn't it? There's no doubt Wendell Saylor is. He's a leader, Wendell Saylor, at the beginning of this season. Times in the last four months probably relied too much on his bolt, but he's an agile player, straightening up, spinning out of tackles, great on his feet. He's shaping up for a, a very big season, you would think. Carrying the ball on the left hand side, stopping on a five cent piece and straightening up the score under the post. skip further in front of the Americans again. They're putting together some constructive sets of six here as Stellati it was. He got inside the 20, hitting the line hard and straight. And it took a big man to stop him by Lazarus. There's Wallace away this time. Battlebar taking it across field and the tackle there of Gillies. Driving defence. Cuts down the Patriots' momentum just for a moment. And a slide as the attacker reached the defensive line. The last tackle, the half-time siren has sounded. A little rubber kick as well. Plays. Sounded, I think. He's heard some siren go. Tucker kick, hit the upright, got the bounce. Steve Randolph trying to tow it through with the left foot, couldn't make a connection. 
and Aaron Taggart, the, the smile says it all. He's laid on both sides. And would you believe after Tucker has scored, basically, right, the Americans miss the kick. So, half time in this match, Australia 14, the shot score line, Alan State's 10. In one year, over 200,000 people got the perfect stomach with eight minute abs. Just listen to these results. I went from the splatty spare tire to a washboard stomach. Thanks, eight minute abs. I used to wear loose clothes to hide my tummy, but look, now I use eight minute abs. Eight minute abs is great. I pop it in, I'm done, and it works. Eight minute abs takes you through a series of simple movements scientifically designed for fast results. I use eight minute abs, and I recommend it to all of my clients. The secret is using the abdominal muscles in a specific sequence to maximize effectiveness. And it gets the job done in only eight minutes. If you've got eight minutes and a VCR, you'll get great abs too. Call for your copy for $19.95 and we'll include a $5 rebate coupon. That's right, it's just $14.95 with rebate. And we'll also include eight minute buns absolutely free. Yes, you get both for $14.95 if you call right now. Satisfaction is guaranteed, so call 1 800 547 8888. That's 1 800 547 if you've been running for years, if you've just started running, even if you've been thinking about running, Runner's World, the world's number one running magazine, can help you enjoy running and keep you running so you'll look and feel terrific. Runner's World will help you lose weight fast and show you the foods that can boost your energy. You'll learn secrets for building speed and stamina from top runners and their coaches. Plus, sports medicine breakthroughs and easy stretches that help prevent injury. You can get into fantastic shape with just 20 minutes of running three times a week. Call now and receive a free issue of Runner's World. As a special TV bonus, you'll also receive our exclusive guide. 250 everyday health tips for runners and a personal training log free. If you're not thrilled with your first issue, simply cancel and owe nothing. If you love Runner's World, you'll receive a full year, 12 issues in all, plus your free tips book and training log for just four easy payments of $4.97. That's 53% off the cover price. Call 1-800-235-8600. On the track and in the pit, the top drivers in the fastest cars prepare for the world's greatest race. Countdown to Indy beginning Monday on your regional sports network. It's done now, the second half underway. Blowy conditions, it just doesn't get any better. And this turned out to be a filthy day weather-wise as Lazarus over the 20. Something he does very, very well to kick off returns. Now Gillies, a little chink as he got to the defensive line, beat one player, tackled 15 minutes inside his own half. Just four points the difference as Ricky Stewart puts the kick and has placed it beautifully for Sailor. Sailor has too much time from Prince Hill. Now does he have enough time to get to the ball? He doesn't. Just a little too late. And Randall slides all the way out of the camera scaffold. Play a move there from the Australians. Third tackle, Ricky Stewart. Teed up his outside men for the kick. 60 metres out, the ball went six inches too long. Back with the ball now outside their own 20. And working to the left where they did have an overlap, but the passes weren't quick enough in coming. And Wallace was wrapped up in the tackle of Ricky Stewart. And now that is Vuttlebar. Sat 15 metres inside his own line. So he's own half rather as Wallace. There they go again. The tackle came over the top. That was Lazarus hitting hard. Certain of the tackle and also forcing the man to ground. Again, Wallace with the dummy half duties away to this. Nifty customer was, or rather uh, Tucker, Aaron Tucker, has been the playmaker for the Americans at that time, showing some kicking skills in fighting touch. Obviously in these conditions, the kicking game is very important. The ball along the ground there, keeping it out of the wind, he was able to pick up 40 metres. But also in general play, kicking the football, we've seen both the American tries coming from the kick. It'll be very difficult to pick the ball up off the ground when it's in the air. Certainly moving it around. Stewart from this scrum with Daly and Randolph. Randolph around the outside. They're shining half a hole around DeSorbo. And the defence was able to regroup on halfway. That is obviously fraught with danger. A couple of times this match, DeSorbo has allowed Randolph to get on the outside. Doesn't too often. Gillies now with it. A dummy on the inside to Sailor. Sailor's still there and with the ball now. Away he goes through the tackle. Away from a second away. 
from a third. Rendell Sailor thinks about bringing it closer to the posts. He settles for 10 metres in for a touch. And Rendell Sailor, yet another try to this Broncos player. And Australia skip to 8 point lead, 18 points to 10. Good work from Simon Gillies, off lady to Sailor. And, and just too much pace for the cover defence coming across. Again, a wrap for the American cover defence that time, Tucker stopping the ball being taken closer to the posts. Salah, two tries in this match. Kevin Walters and Robbie Beckett, the other try scorers. Uh, luck with the conversion attempt. 18 points to the 10. The score remains. Ricky Stewart had the kicking duties that time. Back to halfway yet again. Dave Bow. Taps, runs forward. Makes nine metres. He's back slammed for his efforts. And now a drop ball. Gorillas clean up over the top after he lost the ball. That hurt for a driller or did it? Ah, didn't hurt at all. Pretty nasty collision, that one. Rulo, no problems getting up to his free pack near the scrum. Stewart fires the ball in front of Laurie Daly, who throws a couple of dummies before finding Brent Mullins. Canberra connection again, goodbye. Great ball back inside to Eddinghausen, and he should have the pace to score. All the skills in, Eddinghausen, the ball this time holds up for ET. And the Australians have one of the best tries of the tournament, working the ball from deep inside. They're right home. And you're ready, Housie. 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 Oh, wouldn't you wouldn't believe it. There's 16 nations in that couple of the Australian names. Denning Housie kicks over the top and comes up with a drop. Just call him ET, Andrew. Great work. He's got amazing capacity to, to come from the clouds and get involved. We saw the Canberra players, Stuart Daly and Mullen talking by and then all of a sudden, Ed Reddinghausen appears on the scene and he's has the try next to his name. No conversion attempt that time either, so five tries, only one goal, 22 points to 10. I don't think the Australians were that worried at half time, but uh, it was only four points the difference. It's the Americans, the American Patriots on the attack. Cassidy was a dummy half. Away to Wallace, brother Tucker, kick through, Sailors back to field it. Australians with it outside their own 20. Yeah, you've got a little bit of kick happy now, Aaron Tucker. Had success twice in the first half. Now just giving away possession as Bobby Daly throws a bad ball to Robbie Beckett, who throws a worse one, but somehow it's ended up in David Furness' hands. He throws the dummy. Oh, it was a good one. They all fell for it. Furness straight through the centre. Now Big Fletcher has run away from it. He's still going over the 20. Wrestling match now with a 12 shot of Davis. But eventually Furner comes to ground. 18 metres out from the Patriots line. Well, they'll score to the right-hand side here if they throw the pass. No, in fact, Paul Green sees that there's nobody on the left. Absolutely no one there. So the simplest try that we've seen the Australian score in this game. It was set up by the David Furner run in the previous play. As Andrew pointed out, he did run away from four or five support players led by Steve Renoff. There was the dummy. Everybody took Right hand side was where the support players were, but eventually Paul Green out of dummy half had a simplest 15 metre stroll. And David Ferner, it was his run that set up the try, and he's certainly making a mark in this tournament. The World Nines from Suva. Australia 26 leading the Patriots 10. And away they go again, the Americans with Bow. They didn't have five men at that time. And if it is at all possible, the weather is getting wilder here. Yeah, it's got that flash. Also got a dog on the field, out of shot at the moment. But it's causing some problems for the locals as now they try and make their way upfield. The Americans, good tackle from Jason Croker all the time, forcing the man to ground, slowing up play. The Americans with Tucker thought about throwing the cutout pass and trying to make ground through traffic that time. Now inside the 20, can they come up with a third try? Nice oh, 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 shot, yeah, that should be penalised. Laurie Daly, he actually motioned for his outside defender to take the ball carrier. And when that didn't happen, came up with a fairly clumsy effort. 